In this video, we're going to learn about a simple best practice we can follow to prevent bugs from occurring when using if statements in C. So let's create a simple program that prompts the user for a completion percentage. And if the percentage is equal to 100, the program should output work done. Otherwise, the program should output work not done yet. So first, we'll declare an int type variable called percent to store the percent complete. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in the percent complete. So we'll have printf enter percent complete. Next, we'll use scanf to store the percent that the user enters into the percent variable. So we'll have scanf percent d and then and percent. Now we can use an if statement to check if the percent is equal to 100. So we could have here if percent is equal to 100, we'll output work done. Else, we'll output work not done yet. And if we save and compile our program, it's going to work as expected. So we'll save it, compile it, and run it. And if we enter in 100 for percent complete, we'll get work done. If we run the program again, and now we enter in 80 for percent complete, we'll get work not done yet. So the way that we've written this condition here is probably the most natural way to think about it. We want to check if the percent is equal to 100, so that's exactly what we've written. The problem is, we could make a simple typo here and forget to put in two equal symbols. This is now an assignment operator. This will assign the value of 100 to percent. And the problem is, this is actually valid in C. This will not cause a compiler error to occur that would alert the programmer to the fact that they've made a mistake, so they could not notice this mistake. When we assign 100 to percent, this expression will actually result in the value of 100, which will be considered true, and will output work done. So if we save this, compile, and run our program, if the user enters in, let's say 90 here, we now get work done. And that's because the user entered in 90, and 90 was stored into percent. But this here is now an assignment statement, and 100 is assigned to percent. This expression results in the value of 100, which is considered true, and we output work done. Down here, if we were to output percent, we can see that. So we'll have percent colon percent d backslash n, and we'll output percent. We'll save this, compile, and run our program again. And if we enter a 90, we'll see that percent is indeed 100. And the really big problem here is that the compiler isn't even telling us that we're doing anything wrong because technically we're not. So a simple way to discourage this type of bug is to swap the variable and the value. If instead we had 100 is equal to percent, the compiler will flag this issue. So we can save, compile, and run our program. And now we get a compiler error message here. It says expression is not assignable. So as the programmer, we're being told that there is some issue here and we're given a chance to fix it by adding in the extra equal symbol. We could save, compile, and run this. And now it's going to work as normal, where if I put in 90, we'll get work not done yet. So if we get into the habit of putting the value on the left-hand side and the variable on the right-hand side when using equality inside of if statement conditions, this can prevent this sort of bug from occurring in our program and it can be a helpful best practice. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.